Stoicism, a philosophy for an amazing life. Often we face fear, an emotion that, besides not causing direct physical harm, haunts us psychologically. In the light of the wise words of Seneca, we realize that those who fear death struggle to improve the lives of others. Existence is likened to a vast stage filled with obstacles and uncertainties, making the idea of living a grand life amid apparent chaos seemingly impossible. In this challenging scenario, an ageless philosophy known as Stoicism emerges, originating from ancient Greece. This philosophical approach offers more than mere survival. It provides a source of inner strength, profound knowledge, and the much sought after peace of mind. The journey we embark on today is not just a common voyage, it is a deep exploration of the core of what it means to live a truly amazing life. Stoicism, with its solid principles, not only guides us through adversities, but empowers us not only to resist, but to thrive amidst the challenges of the grand stage of life. Stoicism transcends the mere formulation of ethical views or claims. It is indeed a way of life deeply rooted in the inspiring lessons of renowned Stoic philosophers. One cornerstone of Stoicism is the ability to control emotions and cultivate inner strength to overcome adverse feelings. The philosophy advocates that true virtue, coupled with continuous learning, is the root of happiness, and actions speak louder than words. Personal responsibility is a fundamental pillar, emphasizing that we are solely responsible for our actions, regardless of external circumstances. Reflecting on the relevance of Stoicism today, we realize that this ancient philosophy plays a crucial role in reconnecting us with what truly matters, our character, our actions, and our perspective on the world. In an era where the relentless pursuit of external success often leaves inner emptiness and dissatisfaction, Stoicism offers the compass to find peace in an uncontrollable world. Focusing on personal improvement at the expense of the unbridled pursuit of wealth and developing resilience in the face of adversity are fundamental tenets. In summary, Stoicism is a timeless legacy that provides us with essential tools not only to survive, but to truly live a valuable and amazing life, facing the stage of existence with serenity and purpose. Let's delve into seven crucial lessons from the most renowned Stoic philosophers. In each segment, we will explore a key idea of this philosophy, accompanied by guidance on how to incorporate these teachings into our daily lives. By following the lessons of Zeno, the founder of Stoicism, and the profound reflections of Marcus Aurelius, whose thoughts serve as an eternal guide for a life marked by elegance and purpose, we will be led on a path full of fascination. Epicurus gifted us with the wisdom to discern between what is under our control and what escapes our influence. Seneca, in turn, shared with us the power of inner fortitude. Epictetus will contribute to our deep understanding of the workings of our emotions, while Musonius Rufus will enlighten us on the intrinsic importance of discipline. It's not about becoming extraordinary in the eyes of others. It's about becoming extraordinary in our ability to deal with life's difficulties, stay true to our principles, and find peace and power within ourselves. As we go through these lessons, we will highlight how Stoic philosophy remains relevant today. As we progress through each one, reflect on the challenges you face, the things that matter to you, and the life you want to live. Remember that becoming incredible is a process, not a destination to be reached. It's a continuous process of self-awareness, improvement, and self-mastery. The first step is to understand and apply the profound lessons of Stoicism. Let's start this joint journey, exploring, learning, and growing together seeking inspiration from the knowledge of the Stoics to forge our own path towards a grand life. Our first stop is Zeno, 
the founder of Stoicism in the 3rd century BC, born in Cyprus. His journey towards Stoicism began after the shipwreck of his vessel, which led him to Athens. Among the wreckage of his earthly possessions, he discovered the true wealth of philosophy, later known as Stoicism. These lessons didn't just stem from intellectual thought, but arose from real-life questions and the quest for meaning. A famous quote from Zeno encapsulates his philosophy, well-being is attained by little and little, and yet is truly great. This profound statement reflects the Stoics' belief that a good life should be built gradually. Zeno didn't advocate for grand displays of knowledge or rapid changes. Instead, he promoted the idea of performing small acts of kindness daily, accumulating over time to make a significant difference in health and happiness. At the core of his teachings was the fundamental idea of living in harmony with nature. This involved recognizing and being in tune with the natural order of the world, understanding our place in it. Beyond simply caring for the environment, it was about going with the flow of life and finding our role in the bigger picture. This connection with nature wasn't limited to environmental preservation. It also encompassed understanding how humans are naturally intelligent, social, and capable of kindness. Virtue occupied the center of his philosophy. Zeno asserted that honor is the greatest achievement and that everything else, including money, health, and even life itself, has no intrinsic value. This didn't imply that these things were not important it simply emphasized that their true goodness manifested when used ethically. For him, a well-lived life is one aligned with reason, with this harmony being the true catalyst for genuine happiness. We can apply Zeno's ideas in our daily lives in various ways, providing a practical and meaningful approach to facing contemporary challenges. The first step involves simplifying a bold, stoic attitude in a world often marked by selfishness and exacerbated capitalism. Simplifying doesn't mean adopting a Spartan lifestyle, but rather letting go of the superfluous and focusing on the essential, our ideals, relationships, and personal growth. Another valuable practice is aligning our actions with our fundamental values. To achieve this, it is crucial to reflect on our values and ensure that our daily actions are in harmony with these beliefs. This authenticity allows us to live a life that reflects our values and perspectives, providing a sense of peace and integrity. Furthermore, the practice of mindfulness is an essential component for living in harmony with nature and morality following Stoic principles. Mindfulness involves being fully present in the moment, aware of ourselves and our surroundings, acting with purpose and reason. This awareness enables us to deal with life's challenges calmly and clearly, avoiding impulsive emotional reactions. The lessons of Zeno provide a solid foundation for an amazing life. We can move towards happiness and virtue through steady small steps, embracing simplicity, ensuring that our actions reflect our fundamental values and practicing mindfulness. By incorporating these practices into our daily routine, we transform into individuals who not only face the ups and downs of life, but flourish, anchored in knowledge and inner serenity. Lesson two, acceptance of change. Continuing our journey through Stoic wisdom, we encounter Marcus Aurelius, a figure who personifies the Stoic ideal. Aurelius, a Roman emperor and fervent Stoic philosopher known as the Philosopher King, demonstrated wisdom and virtue during his reign, facing challenges such as war, plague, and political instability. His private writings, compiled in meditations, reveal the mind of a man seeking peace amid turbulent times. He expressed, you could leave life right now, let that determine what you do, say, and think. This incisive reminder of life's brevity is a central theme in his philosophy, a call to live fully, not out of fear of death, 
but in recognition of the precious and ephemeral nature of each moment. Marcus Aurelius' ideas about accepting change are particularly relevant today, where the constant flux of circumstances can be challenging. He teaches us that change is not only inevitable, but crucial for personal growth, learning, and the opportunity to test our values. His guidance is to accept change as a natural process, integrated into everything in the world, and not resist it. He himself embodied this philosophy in his daily practice, maintaining a journal as a useful tool to follow this principle. Recording our daily reflections allows us to assess how we deal with change and how well we adhere to Stoic ideals, promoting constructive self-reflection. Thus, Marcus Aurelius invites us to embrace change, not as an adversary, but as an ally in the pursuit of virtue and wisdom. His lesson resonates in contemporary challenges, inspiring us to accept life's inevitable transformations with serenity and to use tools like journaling to enhance our inner journey. The power of writing and reflection the practice of writing emerges as a powerful tool for self-improvement, providing a dedicated space to express feelings, articulate thoughts, plan, and observe personal growth over time. By putting our thoughts into a record, we promote introspection, achieve serenity, and gain clarity. This process aligns with the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, who invites us to embrace change as a natural part of life, challenging the negative or fearful view we often attribute to it, recognizing constant change as a vital and necessary element can reduce resistance, enhance flexibility, and strengthen resilience. Marcus Aurelius's perspective on living in the present stands out as a crucial lesson. While we often cling to the past or worry excessively about the future, he encourages us to focus on the present moment, using our discernment, acting with virtue, and fully appreciating each instant. Living fully in the present allows us to establish deeper connections with life, appreciate small joys, and face challenges with clarity and composure. The practice of recording thoughts in a journal, contemplating evolution over time, and staying focused on the present moment not only honors the legacy of Marcus Aurelius, but also represents significant steps toward cultivating a resilient and deeply connected mind. By adopting these practical teachings, we transform abstract concepts into tangible guidelines for living a happier and more meaningful life. The third lesson, cultivating strength according to Seneca, the third lesson, centered on strength according to Seneca, highlights his challenging life as a stoic philosopher, politician, and advisor to Nero. Despite adversities, his works continue to offer valuable insights into leading a virtuous and robust life. Seneca saw difficulties as mind-strengthening, likening them to physical training for the body, emphasizing an approach to adversity not as harmful but as an opportunity for learning and strengthening. Applying Seneca's ideas to contemporary challenges emphasizes the importance of turning difficulties into sources of strength, especially in a world where stress and problems are prevalent. Seneca teaches that our response to problems defines the true essence of the experience. The event itself is secondary. To apply Seneca's ideas in everyday life, it is crucial to reframe our perspective on challenges. We should see them not as problems, but as opportunities for personal growth, learning, and resilience. For example, a setback at work can be a chance to reassess our career path, acquire new skills, or strengthen our resilience. Seneca also advocates for the practice of gratitude during challenging moments, encouraging us to recognize and appreciate the positive aspects of our lives. Cultivating gratitude shifts our focus from what is lacking to what we possess, promoting an attitude of abundance and strength. A philosophy of Seneca highlights the importance of finding light, even in dark moments, emphasizing the cultivation of mental strength. 
Building mental resilience involves training the mind to stay composed and logical during adversities, maintaining perspective and adhering to stoic principles. It's not an innate characteristic but requires regular and conscious practice of stoic teachings. Seneca's lessons guide on how to face challenges with strength and intelligence. By viewing challenges as opportunities, practicing gratitude, and building mental resilience, we develop the ability to deal with problems with serenity and courage. What initially seems like a significant failure transforms into opportunities for growth and self-discovery by incorporating Seneca's teachings. We can build a life that recognizes the inevitability of problems, using them as catalysts for personal development and transformation. This resilience perspective does not seek to deny or avoid suffering. On the contrary, it involves facing it in a healthy way. It recognizes that resilience is not a destination, but a continuous journey. By adopting this stoic view of resilience, we empower ourselves to face life's challenges with grace and determination, turning each obstacle into a step toward an extraordinary life. As we conclude our exploration of stoic wisdom, we delve into the teachings of Epictetus, symbolizing the power of choice. Epictetus, born a slave in the Roman Empire, experienced a life of hardships and restrictions. However, his spirit remained unbroken and he eventually gained freedom, becoming a renowned and strict teacher. His lessons found in the Discourses and Enchiridion offer profound insights into achieving inner peace and understanding the essence of human beings. Epictetus is best known for his clear distinction between what we can control and what we cannot. He succinctly stated, some things are within our control and some things are not. This fundamental and profound idea is at the core of Stoic philosophy. It highlights the importance of focusing our energy on what we can influence while accepting with equanimity what is beyond our control. The power of internal responses. Epictetus emphasizes that elements like our possessions, appearance, and even our bodies are beyond our control and therefore not significant. What truly matters are the decisions, opinions, and responses that reside within ourselves. In a world where we often invest considerable time and energy worrying about others, this distinction is crucial. Epictetus advises us to direct our attention and energy to the only aspect we can change, our own minds. Finding peace and strength amidst life's trials and uncertainties becomes possible when we understand and internalize this difference. A practical application of Epictetus's ideas in real life is focusing on our responses and decisions. Instead of blaming others or external circumstances, it's vital to take responsibility for how we react to our surroundings. For example, when faced with a work-related failure, we don't need to succumb to anger or despair. Instead, we can choose to respond with determination and creativity. Recognizing that our true power lies in our inner world can make us feel stronger and more in control. Another fundamental aspect of Epictetus's philosophy is the practice of mindfulness. Being mindful involves being aware of our thoughts, feelings and behaviors in the present moment without judgment. When we practice mindfulness, we can gently redirect our attention to what we can change, avoiding unnecessary concerns about things beyond our control. This practice not only improves our emotional well-being, but also aligns with the principles of Stoicism. Epictetus gives us a challenging and liberating lesson to let go of concern for others' opinions and detach ourselves from specific outcomes. In a world marked by external judgment, the pursuit of inner freedom and peace may seem unconventional. However, Epictetus argues that true freedom and peace emanate from within, not external evaluations. Embracing flexibility, adaptability, and peace involves relinquishing attachment to specific results. 
By giving our best without becoming overly fixated on outcomes, we can cultivate a resilient and serene life. Epictetus's teachings on freedom and control establish a solid framework for navigating life with peace and wisdom. Contrary to passivity or indifference, this approach encourages active engagement with life from a position of inner strength and independence. Learning from Epictetus, we are empowered to discern between the fluctuations of external events and the constant flow of our own choices and attitudes to lead a truly free and peaceful life where happiness and peace are not left to chance but grounded in aspects we can control Understanding this difference is essential. Consistent practice of these principles enables us to take control of our lives, navigating through vicissitudes with grace, courage, and a profound sense of self-empowerment. The role of rules and order. In our exploration of Stoic heritage, we encounter Musonius Rufus, a figure often overshadowed by more renowned Stoic counterparts, However, Rufus, a Roman philosopher also known as the Roman Socrates, emphasized moral living and the practical application of philosophy in everyday life. While his lessons may not be as widely recognized as those of Seneca or Epictetus, they provide profound insights into the Stoic way of life. Rufus's emphasis on the ability to entertain a thought without accepting it underscores the importance that Stoics place on critical thinking and self-reflection. A fundamental part of his teachings revolves around discipline as the foundation for a tranquil life, believing that adhering to Stoic rules and achieving true happiness requires discipline. His approach highlights control, especially relevant in today's world, when numerous distractions and the pursuit of instant gratification often outweigh considerations of long-term health and happiness. Rufus's teachings emphasize the importance of self-control and the pursuit of lasting ideals. Applying his lessons in daily life involves establishing daily habits, creating routines for structure and order, and practicing stoic values. A daily schedule that includes time for reflection, exercise, study, and essential tasks contributes to discipline, ensuring that actions are aligned with values and goals. Rufo highlights the value of self-control, advocating for the choice of joys aligned with values and authentic happiness, involving impulse control and decisions based on facts, not external emotions. Cultivating self-control aids perseverance towards goals, resisting tempting distractions. Another fundamental lesson is prioritizing essential matters over pleasant activities, discouraging the superficial pursuit of external approval and material possessions in a world marked by selfishness and consumerism. It emphasizes focusing on enriching activities such as the joy of learning, satisfaction in hard work, and happiness from meaningful relationships, promoting a meaningful life. Living a regulated life for Stoic ideals. Embracing a disciplined life aligned with Stoic principles is achievable through a structured approach. This disciplined way of living enables individuals to focus on the essential, develop their character, and achieve a sense of peace and satisfaction. Musonius. Rufus's lessons on discipline emphasize that it is not a restriction, but a form of freedom. By freeing individuals from the chains of uncontrolled desires, Discipline enables a life full of meaning and purpose. This freedom empowers individuals to live a good life, fulfill their full potential, and contribute meaningfully to the world around them. Learning from Musonius Rufus, we understand that discipline is not a limitation. On the contrary, it is a path to freedom. By practicing self-control, establishing daily routines, and prioritizing essential joys, people can incorporate Stoic ideals into their everyday lives. This disciplined approach not only leads to conventional success, but also results in a deeply satisfying and enriching life. It allows people to live in harmony with nature and reason, 
creating a life that is not only successful in the usual sense, but also profoundly rewarding. Lesson 6. Understanding how emotions work. Continuing our exploration of Stoic knowledge, we delve into the crucial theme of understanding emotions and their management. Stoicism highlights the importance of mastering one's own emotions, recognizing them, and cultivating emotional resilience to achieve a more balanced and satisfying life. The Stoic philosopher Cyprus, born in Cyprus, had a significant impact on Stoic thinking. As a writer and creative thinker, he delved into the complexities of feelings, encapsulating his philosophy in the powerful quote, No one is free who is not master of himself. This resonates with the Stoic perspective that self-mastery, especially over emotions, is crucial. Cyprus advocated for the ethical and rational understanding and treatment of feelings rather than their suppression. In a world where emotions have a significant impact on individual and collective decisions, his lessons on responsible emotional expression are highly relevant. Instead of uncontrolled emotional outbursts, Cyprus promotes understanding, control, and harmony with our logical nature. Applying his teachings involves developing emotional intelligence, being aware of one's own feelings, and understanding others' emotions. This awareness allows people to make decisions based on sound reasoning and personal values, transcending short-term emotions. A fundamental lesson from Cyprus is the importance of responding instead of reacting in the heat of the moment. This involves acknowledging one's own feelings and choosing a response aligned with common sense and values. By cultivating emotional intelligence and choosing thoughtful responses, people gain more control over their inner world. Cyprus's lessons provide a solid approach to learning emotional intelligence, dealing with life's challenges with calmness and wisdom, and making feelings work for, not against, individuals. By integrating these teachings into daily routines, people can face the ups and downs of life with a stable mind and heart. Being in control of emotions not only brings peace and health, but is also an essential element for living an extraordinary life. The study of Stoic wisdom, guided by timeless principles, culminates in reflections on the profound lessons left by the great philosophers. Marcus Aurelius taught the importance of accepting change and the urgency of living with purpose. Seneca emphasized resilience, viewing problems as opportunities for growth. Epictetus provided clarity on what can and cannot be controlled, guiding toward inner peace and strength. Incorporating Stoic practices doesn't require drastic transformations, but rather small adjustments in everyday thinking and actions. It's a continuous process of learning, growing and adapting, accepting life, finding happiness in challenging moments and building a strong and grounded character. Stoic knowledge doesn't promise a linear journey towards greatness. It's about embracing the constant pursuit of self-improvement and making an impact on the world. Becoming virtuous, resilient and deeply self-aware are the keys to a satisfying life. Stoic philosophy is not limited to personal transformation, but also encourages contributing to the world and experiencing a happy and meaningful existence. As this chapter concludes, the lessons of the Stoics serve as a guiding light, motivating people to live each day with purpose, face obstacles with courage, and seek continuous improvement. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this simple gesture, you'll be supporting us and helping create more valuable content like this. See you soon.